we want to solve the following equation. So how are we going to go about doing that? Well, we remember that if we're adding two logs together, that's the same thing as multiplying them. So this would be the same thing as the log of x times x minus 3 equals 1. Okay, so I've got that. Now I need to get x all by itself. So I need to take the opposite or the inverse of log, which is 10, the base 10 to the x. So I'm going to take 10 log x times x minus 3 equals 10 to the first power. Now when I do that, remember on the left hand side, all I'm going to be left with is the exponent. So this will be x times x minus 3 equals 10 to the first is just 10. So I'm going to actually need to distribute my x's. So I've got x squared minus 3x equals 10. Now I need to set it equal to 0. So I've got x squared minus 3x minus 10 equals 0. I need to factor this. So I need to look at the factors of 10 that have a difference of 3. So that's going to be 5 and 2. The sign of the larger is the minus. Don't forget your x's. So as with other ones, we're going to set each one equal to 0 and solve. So I'm going to get x equals 5 and I'm going to get x equals negative 2. Now I need to actually check these. And the main reason is, is because when you start doing it, you're going to find out that negative numbers do not have logarithms. So I would actually need to plug in the 5 first. And then you can actually solve this on your handy dandy little calculator if need be. So this would be the log of 5 plus the log of 2 equals 1. And I know this is the same thing as the log of 10, because I can multiply those as 1. And I know that 10 to the first power is 1, so that checks. Now, if I do the other number, I would have the log of minus 2 plus the log of minus 2 minus 3 equals 1. And then I would have the log of minus 2 plus the log of minus 5 which equals 1. Now here, if I multiply them together, you're going to notice that um, I would still get 1 if I use my rules, but I can't take the log of minus 2 to begin with. If I do that, I get an error on my calculator. So what that tells me is that x cannot be negative 2. And again, I said it's because it, you can't have negative numbers. So the only thing in your solution set is 5.